Morning. Good morning, James. How are you? Very well, and you? Good. Let's let's talk a little bit about um, Seni. It's great to see you. And uh, before we start, you know, it's your 25th anniversary, and I really like the label. I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, so absolutely. It's, it's beautiful. The wine's, mm -hmm. the wine's excellent as well. Um, a beautiful wine, 2019. And, you know, 25 years, when you think about it, it went by quickly. But when you think about it, like what sort of emotions do you have about it 25 years later? Well, it's, it's wonderful. I mean, if, if I looking back, it's like uh, an amazing journey. I mean, when we started back in 1995 with Bob, it was the beginning. It, we, were, we had the, uh, this vision, this, uh, I mean, dream about uh, producing this wine and getting the recognition. So it and, was really- And Bob, Bob Mondavi. Yeah, yeah. It, it was uh, when he came back in 1991 and we traveled together for a week. At the end of the week, he was so excited. And he said to me, well, this reminds me of the uh, what happened in, in the US when he created the Opus One. Uh, Opus One was very instrumental in, in helping him to develop the, uh, the, the image for the Napa Valley, which he did not have at the time. So he was really very interested, very keen in developing a project in Chile that could have that same effect. And I was very happy, very fond uh, when he asked me to do the, this project together, this 50-50 joint venture, which was the very first in Chile. So the objective and the vision from day one was to create a wine that could turn people's mind about Chile and put Chile in the, in the, in the map of fine wine. When did you know, when did you say, you must have been sort of scared. When did you say finally, like, wow, okay, we know that we did something great. We may, you know, we have an incredible estate. What vintage mm -hmm. did you did you say to yourself, this is incredible? Yeah. Well, we were very happy, as I said, <clears throat> on the first vintages. Uh, at first, we had mainly Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet, and, and then little by little, when we planted the, 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 the Malbec and all the grape varieties, by 2004, I would say the property was fully converted to biodynamic farming as well. So that was okay. a relevant year. But 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 as I said, just said, when we pitched our wines in this blind tasting with, with the best wines of the world, the most renowned wines, that was yeah. vintage 2000 and 2001. So it was, the vineyard had already only, uh, I mean, just a few years. So, but, so that was the very first time Senya opened the eyes of the world critics uh, yeah. coming on top of that tasting. Um, so when we do vertical tastings, I mean, 2000, 2001, 2005, 6, I mean, we have beautiful vintages going back that are showing great in this vertical tastings that, that we have done. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, in true honesty, I would have never imagined looking, I mean, in the early days, all the amazing recognitions that we would get in this span of 25 years. That's a good point. Yeah, things came very quickly. It's a, it's a great example of uh, the still incredible potential for Chile, because I mean, think about it, even where you, that's, you pick that place, but there's so many other places you can do amazing things. Well, just like um, Pizarras, your Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays are incredible quality, but it seems like there's so many places that you could make uh, really world-class wines in Chile. That's why I'm a big proponent of Chile and believe in Chile. And Senya has been a real um, beacon for, uh, for Chile and, and what Chile can do also with biodynamics and everything else the sustainability it's amazing mm -hmm. yeah. um and but one thing that really struck me too is that you and tim mondavi in the er, when you started you were looking for elegance you used the word elegance and it, at the time everyone else was going for they were just starting to really go for big powerful um huge wines which luckily are not popular anymore but you know you and tim we're at the time we're searching elegance. Do you remember why yeah. did you think about trying to make the big 
you know, blockbusters that were popular becoming popular at the time? I guess it was uh, both Tim and my personal style was to try to produce a wine, of, a graceful wine, a wine of elegance, of silky tannins, where, whereas at the time, most critics were, and most producers were just trying to produce wine, I mean, wine bombs with high alcohol, yeah. high extraction. So that, that was why we chose this, the property very near the coast, like the Maremma of Italy, where you have yeah. the, 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 the top wines. So yeah. it, it has it, it just enough warmth to ripen Carbonere and, and, and the Cabernet Sauvignon, but it ripens along the time very gently. So the tannins are very silky. And that's, I think, the key of Senya, a wine of great balance, finesse and elegance, and very silky tannins. So uh, that's why perhaps in all this tasting, Senya has performed so well. And, uh, and it's been also, it's, it's a wine of a unique personality uh, because it's, it's a wine that has a freshness, has a balance, a very nice acidity for aging. And it's a, it, has, it has given the wine also a tremendous aging potential. When we did the vertical tastings, uh, pitching different vintages of Senya, where the first growth in Hong Kong, uh, and we came in all top positions, people were very, very surprised because people didn't expect that a Chilean wine would age as beautiful yeah. or not than a top Bordeaux, and Senya did. So it's been a, you know, it's been an incredible journey. It's like, wow, how, how could this happen? All, all this uh, recognition, you giving us uh, also, together with Vigneto Child, with the first 100 points. So no, I have thank to you. thank you for this recognition. You came to no, Chile. thank you for making great wine. Spend. The beauty is that this is also helping Chile get this full recognition. As you know, La Place de Bordeaux has uh, yeah. nicely embraced Senya, uh, and Maviva, Cloapalta, and it was really wonderful to tour together. I mean, throwing these uh, legends, wines legend of Chile. So it, it's a success story. And I think, uh, I mean, that's very positive. So that's why this, with this vintage, the 25th anniversary, we want to really celebrate and we want to thank all of our friends and wild lovers around the world for being, uh, uh, I mean, ha having this great loyalty with Senya. And how much, how many bottles do you normally make, make in a year? Normally it would be around 100,000 bottles. Okay. That's more, I, that would say is the average. And, but, all, but the whole property is coming to, to, to balance, to age, it's already 25 years. So um, when we use the 45 hectares, Senya will, will produce a little bit more, uh, uh, over the coming years. Do you think you'll ever do a second wine for Senya? Uh, we are planning to do that. Uh, yeah. So next year, with the winter 2000, uh, 2020, we plan mm -hmm. to release uh, the second wine of Senya. Oh, good. So that, okay. That could be a nice... Uh, uh, because we have, we have, as I said, 45 hectares, so there's so many yeah. hectares that are not making it to the first uh, blend, but it's a beautiful wine. Um, and we believe we already have it, uh, the blend for the second wine of Senya. So that's going to be the surprise for next year. Good. I look forward to tasting it. And tell me, so what do you do for the next 25 years then? Like you, you, you really have come along. You probably did, you know, in 25 years, what takes, you know, that took many others like a hundred years or 200 years. What do you do for the next 25 years at Senya? Well, we want to continue to celebrate uh, the, the, the vineyard is, is uh, coming, I mean, it's only 25 years old. Um, we, we might, exp I mean, this, it's really, we're taking care of the vineyard like, uh, like a Japanese garden. It's like vine yeah. to vine. So, uh, um, I mean, I think this is, we are at a peak time. I mean, 25 years is a very nice age for the vineyard. The vineyard is looking very well. And we just keep to have to do fine tunings. Uh, the style, uh, we are so happy with uh, the, the wine today represents the vineyard, the vineyard sections, 50% Cabernet Sauvignon, around 17 to 20% each Carmenere and Malbec, and the balance is Petit Verdot and Cabernet Franc. So the blend itself is reflecting the vineyard. Um, 
That's interesting. And for the future, it's keeping this biodynamic philosophy, biodynamic farming, uh, and, and continuing to develop also wine lovers around the world. You know, we, we've been very active in doing beautiful tastings in 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 China, London, Japan, hmm. the state. What uh, and how important do you think biodynamics are to Senya, and what does it do for the quality of the wine? I think it is very important because it allows us to keep the property in full uh, balance, in full equilibrium with the cosmos, with the flora, the fauna, and it's the most, it's the healthiest and the, the, the real way to protect the vineyard for future generations. So I'm very convinced that biodynamic is the ultimate way of really showing respect to nature, to the, to the property. And I think it's difficult to, to say that you are, you have a, a wine of terroir if you are not really either biodynamic or very sustainable. Uh, and in yes. our case, we went full time with, with, a, with a biodynamic farming. And, and I think what it does, it allows you to have a very healthy vine, roots that go very deep into the soil, canopies that are very well kept, and a, and a vine that is very well balanced, so it can produce grapes that have thick skins and have fruit that is very healthy. So then that translates into a wine of great purity and intensity, which I think is, is what we always find in Senya, a wine that has this uh, concentration, intensity, purity. And, and also, uh, essentially, it's organic, but then it's following, following Steiner's um, work, which canonizes you know, the um, history of, let's say, of, of farming. Uh, but in the end, what it is, is it, it, it creates an incredible ecosystem. And just for consumers, they know that it's, it's not using synthetic chemicals or anything like that. It's very, very yeah. hot, like high-end organic. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, my friend. Thing. Yeah, thank you so have, much. Have a great time and, um, and uh, be safe and we'll speak, well, anyways, we'll speak soon. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. ciao. Abrazo, ciao. Que te bien.